we're going to do here is test out the strength of both the current five pound notes that we're familiar with and the plastic notes of the future that we will be seeing from the 13th of September. To do that, we have English five pound note, I'm sure you're very familiar with it, and an Australian five pound note that is printed on the same polymer material as we'll be seeing, you know, you'll be seeing behind the bar from September onwards. I'm going to give both of these the scientific bar stress test. Now I know it's quite a high level of incompetence to you know, go and drop a full, a full five pound note in a glass of red wine, but we have certainly been given dodgy red wine stained five pound notes at the end, at the end of the night behind the bar. So, I mean, I as well just give it the best test you can. And it goes, and this is the English five pound note. It's held up relatively well, relatively speaking, but in this case, scrunched up. It's not, it's not the most pleasant of notes. I mean, it's still usable, as you'll see, but it's far, it's far from perfect. The Australian five pound note, which is the same as the five pound notes we'll be seeing in the UK from mid-September. Let's put that in a bit of red wine. Fairly noticeable. Admittedly, it's not in the perfect state it was once in, but I mean, just a little bit of um, I mean, we're going to put it in another liquid if we just put in a bit of water just to clean it out. There we are, I mean. That, once you dried it out, is basically good as new. This five pound note is now going to be at the stage where it's in better days. These little plastic notes here have a positive environmental impact because they'll be lasting two and a half times as long as their paper counterparts to be similar for our. So to that, cheers.